Hello, my evil nation. This is EverGuy019, and welcome back to more Splatoon. Last time we left off, we did some tutorial stuff to get us familiarized with the controls. And we start some of the campaign. Now, we're going to... Why is that one purple and that one blue? I don't know. Anyways, now we're going to... Continue on more of the campaign. Get out there. Oh, now we're yellow. That's nice. I mean, it's better than live green, I suppose. Lime green, I suppose, but now we're mac and cheese. It's always funny watching streamers play this game and just and just when they joke about what color what colors they represent. Like yellow was mac and cheese. Pink was like pepped up as well. Which is probably the funniest. I don't remember the other colors, other nicknames, the colors I had. But, something I was going to say. I kind of wish, I'm not sure how it would have worked, but I kind of wish, some of the things you see here, like turrets and things, I kind of wish some of the... Oh, what the heck? Oh, even this. I think it's... That's cool. I kind of wish some of the stages online implemented this. Though, I'm not sure how that would have worked when it came to better to play. I, I still thought it would have been cool to have, like... To have, like, some rail grinding to get to places and levels, or... To have some rail grinding and levels, or, like... Being able to use turrets. The, the turret thing would probably be unfair. Considering how much ground it covers. Maybe it could be used for a specific purpose, though. R again? Oh. Oh, okay. You have to press down on it. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time, so... But, probably could have used... I probably could have used that better, but... That's okay. Oh, got hit. Get specials. Oh boy. I can't tell you how many specials are kind of nerve wracking. They're, they're, I believe the one I just called was the bazooka? That one wasn't too bad. If you could anticipate the enemy's movement, that is. They're kind of spamming it from a place you can't see. And then it's a bit more difficult to avoid it, but. That one's not one of the worst ones, at least in my opinion. The worst ones are definitely, I think one was called the Tornado or something. It's basically, where you shoot, you mark a area on the map, and... Yeah, you mark an area on the map, and like, a huge tornado, a huge geyser tornado. Hits a spot and spreads out. Pretty big, and not only was it big, but it could also it could also cover a lot. It covers a lot of er area. Which, if you have a team of four people who have that weapon, even if the enemy team's losing, they could come back at like the last minute of that, which was 
pretty fun. Let's get shit going. Or I can just throw a on him and he goes. Okay. Thanks for the special though. Oh yeah, that the special I was just talking about. It's pretty annoying. Wait. What took the cake for me was by far the Kraken. Not only was the Kraken pretty stupid because my main problem with the Kraken was just how clutch it was. If you're about to, if you're about to kill the enemy, they can just and you're close to them. They can just bust out a Kraken and kill you. No questions asked. Once you know how the Kraken Kraken works, it's a bit easier to avoid. But oh, I can upgrade this. All I saw was the upgrade button. I was wondering what it was. I was wondering what these things are for. Well, yeah, once you learn how the Kraken works, then it's not as bad to avoid. But it, I just hate it because it's clutch. I think this is boss fight. And we're lime green again. Or are we just normal green? Yeah. Ever how this guy works is kind of move out the way while he slams his face. Crawl, uh, jump on him, and shoot down the him. Pretty simple. I think it's a pretty creative use of the mechanics, though. But never anything special. Or not really anything like too special. Right there. At least it says ink though, so. It's two hits. Last one is kind of a bit trickier because they start moving around. As you can see, it's, I think it's already marked. So I should all I should have to do is. Uh... Oh wow! Actually, almost got me there. Yeah, I always kind of remember having... A bit of trouble getting on the last one because the timing is a bit strict. Oh, and I make mistakes with that. Other than that, it's a pretty easy boss. This one's not working, but I think we still make it. Dang it. There we go. There we go. Simple.
wonder how some of the other bosses are. Even though I said I watched speedruns of this game before, I never really tune in for the entirety of the speedrun. I just saw like snippets of this, so it's so rather blind to me. At best, they have the great octo weapons on their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up, it's long road to the great Zapfish. As usual, you could go ahead and read if you want. I do know on speedruns, I believe one of the roads is usually skipped. I think it is road 3 or 4. But, since this is not a speedrun, we're obviously not going to do that. Back on the topic of the Kraken special I was talking about, we might see it sometime this playthrough. The reason why I hate it, the reason why I hate Clutch is because I played games like Destiny, Destiny, which had specials, which for normal game is great, but PvP, like 90% of the specials were. 90% of the specials were clutch. It pretty much resulted in your death. They just pop, you never know when they have it. They just pop it right out, and you'd be dead. That's something I hope they fix. That's something I hope they fix in the second game to come out. At least on this game. I believe? You get... It's pretty lenient. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. This game, it's pretty lenient. Timing with... When it comes to avoiding the specials. Like... I believe... Some have a marker. And... Yeah, some some of them have a marker on where they're gonna hit before they go out and hit. However, specials like the bubbler and kraken, there's no sign. They they could just do it instantly and then survive. Which the bubbler, I'm assuming we'll see sometime in this campaign as well, basically gives you invulnerability. And uh, oh gosh, don't kill me. The bubbler gives you basically gives you an invulnerability barrier for a certain amount of time, which you could also give to other teammates. There's something down there. Secret. Got it. Wait, it shot me over and back in front of here? I wonder why not just give me a shortcut? Oh well. Oh, that's getting a bit more complicated. I don't like those guys very much. 
gonna shoot a lot. I did not mean to shoot the fan at the same time I'm shooting these guys. No, 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 no. This guy, and unintentionally distract that guy, and move on. I'm definitely gonna die at some point here. Cause this is the... Like... Oh. Well, that's not my... It's not my platform, it's definitely by these guys. But I don't think they can shoot that far. Oh, I didn't mean to pull them closer to me, but I guess that works. I consider myself to be pretty decent up, pretty good at platformer forms, or platforming sections, but I don't know, this becomes pretty easy to die with, oh gosh, this becomes pretty easy to die like that, at these, at parts like these. Also gotta like the nice detail, I also like that the enemies get distracted when you shoot a grenade past. We throw a uh, grenade past them. There we go. That wasn't too bad, but a bit more trickier. Alright. Based on timing, I have vault. Almost at the 3 minute mark, so I guess I'll do one more. You can go ahead and read that as well by pressing pause. Courtesy of YouTube. Oh, and yeah, pro probably obvious, but I won't be finding uh, I won't be finding all the page notes. I'm mainly doing this campaign just to hype myself up for for spot two in the second. And, People suggest that it should have been called Splat Tune, as in two. And wow, there's a lot of levels in this world, I think. Ah, uh, Link's Invasion, I guess we're gonna see a lot more of those machine shooting guys. Oh, we're... I believe we're Cyan now. <laughs> oh, I guess... Oh. I guess I'm kind of fighting myself here. <laughs> well, they kind of ran into that. Uh, this is cool. I didn't know the campaign had stages like this. Basically fighting on a level, except for it's against AIs. And getting overwhelmed here. Where'd they go? Well, they have the about the average skill level of a player, to be honest. Not to throw shade at anyone, but sometimes players. Oh no! I almost spoke too soon because I almost just tired. There. If you come out of the corner, that'd be nice. There we go. Not to bag on players in this game, but sometimes it could be a bit. Sometimes you just want to string on them. Okay, I shouldn't say strangle, but it's a 
But team games, you need to work as a team, and everyone's too busy playing deathmatch, or just not playing the game. Let's say these guys are pretty smart. They're like taking cover and moving a lot. Alright. I see like two over there. Come a bit closer. Coming down here. It's kind of annoying. You're not. It's got her. Oh gosh. That may have been a bad idea. Just get down here. There we go. That was a nice throw. I guess it's all of them. I, there's one more over there, but do I really need to kill her? I don't think so. So, we're just gonna take it. Can only assume there's gonna be more of those type of missions, which I'm fine with. Alright, well. I think it's good. 22 minutes and about four stages done. I think it's a good place to stop, so...